What's going on everybody? How you doing? In today's video, we are doing a donation video. This is for Matt. Matt asked for this band called Riverside that I've never heard of before. We're going to be doing two tracks. One today, one right now. This track is called Second Life Syndrome. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, all kinds of ways, you can get a super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon wishlist, mailing address, and I do donation videos just like this one. So if there's something you want me to watch, listen to, talk about, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo in the notes section. Leave me a description. Leave me a link. Let me know what you want the video to be on, and I'll make the video. You can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. That's in the description also. Thank you, guys. Riverside. Progressive rock from Warsaw, Poland. Found in 2001. Progressive rock, heavy metal, fan of electronic ambient experimental music. Blend of atmospheric rock and metal elements resulting in a sound similar to that of Porcupine Tree, Pain of Salvation, who I've never heard of before and dream theater okay and this track it's live it's called second life syndrome which was the name of their second album which came out in 2005 let's check this out bam bass action player sings. That's cool. I like the stage setup with the risers. What's going on with that video effect? Yeah, the stage looks good.
comes in, huh? player is like triggering samples like vocal samples affected <laughs> kind of like Radiohead did with like the chaos pad on the bass and then like brings it in to fill out the ideas because like all the riffs so far are all bass driven
together. Okay. All right. Hmm. Um. Yeah. What's going on with this? I don't know. I don't know. This it, it wasn't exciting to me. <laughs> it was kind of like, mm, eh, eh. I didn't find anything exciting. Nothing stood out. Nothing. If I was a music editor, I would have cut some sections. But this song will give you an idea of this band's sound. There, one of my favorites. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it didn't sound like it went anywhere. Maybe I would feel differently if I heard it a few more times, but it just kind of sounded like it all just like it started here, and it stayed here the whole time. There was some dynamic changes, dynamic kind of shifts, like ups and downs, but it mostly all stayed within here. Tonally, all that kind of stuff, especially for like a 14 plus minute song. You know, it's like, it's like there weren't really any dramatic changes that kind of like made the song a journey, to me at least, to me at least. So, I mean, you know, they had the ambient section, okay, they had a guitar solo. I mean, probably the most interesting changes was within that guitar solo where they had like these two changes that were just kind of like passing that were in there. But uh, I mean, aside from that, there was no real like color it was all kind of like the same color you know does that make sense i'm kind of saying the same thing it all stayed here they used the same colors right for the most part it seemed kind of dull i don't know maybe uh maybe uh maybe i'm wrong and i hear it a few more times and it's like oh yeah okay all right all right all right i get it but on first listen i'm just like mm. I don't know. This doesn't sound very uh, inspired. Oops. <laughs> Bass player sings. That's cool. Yeah, some of this stuff, like, like I can see the first comment on this video. How can that bass player play that bass line and sing at the same time? He's talking about the bass line at the very beginning when he first comes in vocally. Sometimes when things are rhythmically more difficult, Kind of like Getty. Kind of like Getty. It's a little bit easier to sing over. It kind of depends. But also, like, he wrote the song, so if he couldn't do it, he wouldn't have written it that way. I'm assuming he wrote the song. I, it feels like, what's going on with these guys in terms of, like, their songwriting? Who's the bass player? Is it Mari Duda? Is that the dude? 
Duda. Yeah. Mm hmm. Marius. Wait a minute. What did I just see Xanadu? That he started his career in the 90s as a member of a band called Xanadu. Okay. There you go. Wow. The, the, the connection. So this album, Second Life Syndrome, was a massive success, expanding the scope of the band's reach even further than Out of Myself, which I guess was the previous, it was their debut. Okay. Album holds a formidable spot as number 62 on Prague Archive's top 100 Prague albums. Not really any other information regarding, you know, writing and stuff like that. Although it seems like it's that guitar, it's the bass player's band. Yeah, I wish they did more or like painted better pictures like sonically if they're into like experimental, like ambient, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, more, 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 more color, more color. That's what I'd want. More color. Yeah, sharpness and, and, and jarring stuff in what they're doing. There's not really, it just seems like it's all like the same brush stroke. And it's all just like browns and grays and greens that match the browns and the grays you know like i don't know okay all right wow amazing or not <laughs> depending so okay we have another track that we're going to be doing for this band and it's also live it is newer it's more recent more recent i should say so that's good to me because maybe that'll be different. Maybe they... So this was from 2009. Yeah, this, what we just saw was from 2009. And what we're about to check out in the next video is from 2015. So stick around for that. And uh, I'll catch you then. Later. <laughs> 